happening, fellas? We're in front of the Daytona International Speedway at the Motorcycle Show. We are going to do a quick tour of the Kawasaki booth, see what they have out going on for 2021. So stay tuned. Start out with the motocross bikes. This is the new 2021 KX450. These are absolutely awesome. Retail the price is $9,300, which sounds like a, light, a lot, but the truth is you can line up at a national with us and run in the top 10 on a stock bike pretty much once the suspension is up. This is a KX250, a little bit lighter, a lot less horsepower, awesome looking bike. Look how they uh, did the frame rails on the bottom of this one. Don't need to check the bottom though, it's brand new. Here's a 250X. This is a off-road model set up with a little quieter pipe for woods riding. Here's the 450X. Probably a little bit heavier than the motocross version. Different gearing, different suspension settings. And here's where it all started. All right, all 145 KX85. riders, please head over to the stroke. rider briefing area. 145 riders, please head to what, the rider briefing area. what Junior area. used to race back in the day. Two strokes, and then the 65. A lot of champions got their start on these, that's for sure. So you still got the KX 65 and 85 two strokes, but no more 125s and 250s. Here's a 230. This is a uh, enduro enduro bike for on off-road clay bike. These are a lot of fun, man. Don't discount these small bore dual purpose bikes. Here's a 300 Supermoto. Supermoto has the uh, smooth tires on it. Nice color combo. Although I'd have to go with the black and green one. This one looks straight up badass right out of the box. A little wheelie machine too. Very nice. $59.99, man. How can you beat that? Under 6,000 bucks. Here's the enduro version on off-road. Let's see what they get for these. $57.99. Not bad, man. Under six grand buys a brand new four-stroke. What's the price tag on that one, honey? Yeah. $57.99. Not bad. Still under six grand. Now here's a fantastic play bike. If you're looking for a play bike, something for the kids to ride around the farm, you need to pay attention on these next three bikes. This is a K KLX 140RL. This is the big wheel version. They make a regular 140R. This one's a little bit bigger and uh, $3,400 gets you one of these brand spanking new. That'll be the best $3,400. Riders, riders, please head over. Here's a 140R. The area. All 145. KLX 140R. $3,100. Excellent play bike. Can't beat it. Then the 110. Probably more, more people use these as play bikes or pit bikes than any other motorcycle manufacturer today. Oh, they're super popular, absolutely bulletproof, and uh, they're not a lot of money. You can buy one for $23.49. These sell like hotcakes. Most of the dealers up in our area don't even have them since the COVID thing happened. Everybody's buying these and riding them around. They're fun for adults, too. Like, I'm 220 pounds. I can ride these all day long. And I know some pro motocosters that jump cars with them and stuff. They take an incredible beating and keep running. I've even heard of them running them without oil in them. I don't recommend it, but they have, and they won't blow up. If you're into uh, the big boy toys, you got the T-Rex 1000 side by side. That's a pretty impressive looking machine. Look at this one right here. Wow. Look at the suspension on this thing. This is just straight up badass. It's like something out of a Mad Max movie, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I don't know if this one's stock or modified, but it sure is badass. I'm going to guess it's a modified one stripped down to all the... The body works just to show you what it is, but I, like, I don't know a whole lot about these side-by-sides. It's not my cup of tea, but they sure do look pretty badass. Here's a 1000S. The new 2021 model is a T-Rex KRX 1000. Awesome adventure machine. If you're into cruisers, here's a nice Vulcan Classic V-Twin. Here's a touring version. Another Vulcan Custom. Then you get into some of the more real popular play bikes like the Z125 Kawasaki. Again, I know a lot of pro riders that, that buy these. 
to cruise around at the pit track, you know, around when we're traveling the country racing, so fit in the back of your van. Here's an interesting piece. This is kind of a throwback to the Eddie Lawson style. This is a Z900 RS. Um, looks like it has a nice comfortable seating position, nice flat seat, uh, nice looking bike. Probably plenty of horsepower. Z900 RS. The profile looks very similar to the Eddie Lawson, but you can see it has a mono shock, four to one pipe, liquid cooled, upside down forks, triple disc brakes. Last call for all 145 riders. 11,000 bucks, not bad, man. Please check those green red pins. It says 145. You should be in the rider breathing area. Now here's a throwback one here. This is like a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, retro. This is a uh, paint job is very similar to the 1975. Six Kawasaki KZ900. It has that a metallic green with yellow, but it's thoroughly modern. It, that's where the similarities stop. Triple disc brakes, long travel suspension, upside down forks, liquid cooled motor, um, lightweight aluminum wheels. Just a badass machine. Um, I'm sure it's putting down over 100 horsepower. And for 11G, uh, that's a lot of bang for the buck. The seating position looks pretty neutral. Then you get into uh, this uh, street fighter kind of look. Not really my cup of tea, but what's up, baby? How you doing? How are you? You got a, uh, this thing's a monster. This is a supercharged Kawasaki. Um, H2, they call it. Now, they're fast without a supercharger. This is $19,700. Google 2021 Z1 H2 SE. This is an absolute monster. Six-speed transmission, 40 millimeter throttle bodies, Kawasaki electronic control suspension, and did I did I forget to mention it's turbocharged? Probably somewhere near 180, maybe 200 horsepower. This is a Kawasaki 650, kind of an entry level, uh, entry level bike. Then you get into the Vulcan Cruisers. This is kind of like a Harley Road Glide copy. Uh, here's a Kawasaki Concourse, probably one of the best sport touring bikes in the world today. This is a Concourse 14. If you're looking for a sport touring bike, you can buy one of these new for about 16 grand. Sorry about the music, guys. I wish this shit we weren't playing this in the background here, but then under the tent here, they've got some of the racing bikes. Uh, this is their bread and butter. They sell they sell a lot of these sport touring bike in the back row right here. This is a Kawasaki Versus. This is the one you take to Alaska and back, I guess. Um, then it's got his little brother. This one right here is an X300, 300cc Versus. Then this one here, is that a 650, this one? Yeah, 650. Then you get into the sport bikes, the Ninjas. Here's a Ninja 1000, absolute rocket ship. 12.5, buy that one. That's a nice looking. That's a ZX14R. That's pretty, pretty badass. This is competition for the Suzuki Hayabusa. Um, these are the, this is a flagship rock, I'll call it a flagship, more like a rocket ship. Ninja ZX14R. 15G, that's a lot of bike for the money, man. Pretty badass. Then we've got the H2SX. This one's supercharged also. Um, Look at the paint job on it, it's just beautiful. This is probably the fastest production motorcycle Kawasaki makes. So this is a 2021 H2 SXSE 25.5, but it's a supercharged, it's the fastest production street legal motorcycle they make. They make a track version too, but you can see it's set up to actually ride. The pegs aren't that that far back and the, the bars aren't that low and it's got a nice windscreen. It's a bike you can ride all day long. Probably. Uh, 220 mile an hour top speed, I'm just guessing, but it's a supercharged bike, so it's gotta be over 200 miles an hour, right? Absolute rocket ship, beautiful. We got another Ninja here, a little smaller one. What is this? This is a Ninja 650. That's an entry level one right there. If you can't afford that, get the pedal bike. There's a Ninja 400, these are a lot of fun. Put a pipe on these, they sound awesome. And a ZX6R. This is, and this is what you're gonna see racing the high banks of Daytona this weekend, the Daytona 200. This is a Ninja 600 right here. Um, 2020, Jonathan Rhea won the uh, six-time world SBK champion. Won the championship 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 
in 20. Unbelievable. That's a kick-ass machine right there. Got the number one on there still. Oh, that's the ZX-10R. That, that's the new, this is a new bad boy. It's not supercharged, but look at it, man. This is the R version, upside down forks, Brembo disc brakes, kick-ass paint job. Just incredible. Wow, what a machine. We saw one of these in, in, in uh, Aiken, South Carolina. In South Carolina, it was in the window. This thing has lightweight pistons and high performance titanium connecting rods. It also comes stock with the Marchesini forged wheels with the Pirelli Doblo Super Corsa SP tires. What a kick ass machine. And it's just beautiful. I think I think between this and the supercharged version, it'd be a tough, it'd be a tough call. Um, this one would sound freaking incredible with a pipe on it. I'd probably get the naturally aspirated one because I'm old school and I like it. I like the colors on this better. So if it was this one or the other one, this is also seven grand cheaper too. That's probably the cost of the turbo. That's pretty much it for the Kawasaki booth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Everything from my favorites in here. Well, you can't beat the KLX 110. You can't beat the 140R. The KX 450 is an awesome machine. I really like the vintage Z900. There's something about that ZX10R over there really caught my eye. And the supercharged one. Of course, that's one of my favorites. Christy, what did you like the most? I, I think it looked very impressive, their display. They have a lot of very cool looking bikes out here. I really like the, the retro here. The retro Z900? Yeah. And I yeah. do like this one, uh, color scheme, better. It is beautiful. It you is. You know, it's hard to get red and white to go with green. They pulled it off on that one. Yep. Awesome booth, three tractor trailers, and all the new bikes here, including the side-by-sides. Hats off to Kawasaki for supporting Bike Week. Don't, don't like because they made me wear this fucking mask in here. Oops, sorry for that, Bob. But I don't like wearing them, and they wouldn't let me film or come in. If you notice, everybody in here is wearing a mask. It's not a law to wear a mask in Connect in uh, Rhode Island anymore. I mean, in Florida anymore. Yeah. Um, they actually did away with that, so I don't know why they're making us do it in here. I guess they got their own rules, but they're cheesy masks too. Mine just broke. But we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Got more good videos coming your way. So stay tuned, and God bless America, land of the free. God bless the United States of America. And I would definitely buy American if they made dirt bikes as good as Kawasaki, Honda, Suzuki, and Yamaha, but they don't. So maybe we'll have to build our own. Thanks for watching. Keep the shiny side up, brothers.